Made wrong, but it's hard. Well, it's not made wrong, but these are made wrong. Yeah. It's easier to modify the cup than it is to modify, modify the shoe. Yeah. It'd be hard to cut that out. You have to grind it out by hand and pain. A lot harder than doing this. This is easy. And it makes no difference which one you do. So actually, to weaken the shoe, it might break because it's only welded right there anyway. Because they didn't weld anywhere else on it. That's true. It costs money to put weld on shoes. And we just make it see. Yeah, we're good though. Make sure you bend over both sides. You can even use a tool like this. We use a tool like this. So six to one, half dozen to the other type. Yeah. Depends on how strong you are. Yeah, I suppose. You know how big the cutter key is. Yeah. The bigger the cotter key is, the less you do it with the hand, the more you got to use tools. <laughs> but they both work. The key is you want to go both ways, that way if one breaks off, it's still in there. Okay. And then we want to make sure it works after you got it on there. So it goes, where's our front? It goes this way here. Looks good. It works nice and smooth. Tight. Got good tension on it. It doesn't know it's all screwed up. <laughs> It will after the first few miles. No, uh, what I want to do, I want to make sure we got a quarter inch hole in that, so I'm going to go ahead and put a reamer through there. Okay. To make sure it's good. So I'll go check that out right now. Okay. So here's our quarter inch reamer. And obviously, that one's at least quarter inch, so it'll be nice and loose. Okay. So that's done. We know it's good. Everything else is tight. Everything's back on like it's supposed to be. So now you got to put this in the bike. See if these drag on the sh on the uh, drum. Okay. If these hit on the drum, you have, to, you have to flip the springs over and put them from the other side. Okay. So no big deal. You have to check them. Sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. It's hard to put them together upside down, so that's why I did it this way. Okay. If you have to take it back apart, you just uh, pop the cutter key out of here, pull that out, that up, and the shoe will come off just like we did, putting it back on, you reverse. You have to take them apart, flip the springs around, put them back on, put it back all together. Okay. Usually they don't hit, but you, you have to check it. If you don't do that, you're going to hear all that dragging noise inside. That's the shoes making noise. Okay. So, and then obviously once you put on the bike, you have to adjust your pivot. If the pivot bottoms out in the slot, you're going to have to lengthen that slot or grind the pivot down on one side so you can get more travel. All right. Otherwise, it's just going to wear on one shoe. So. It's not going to stop break either. So a bunch of little stuff you got to check when it goes together. You know, this is just supposed to slam right together. Obviously, it didn't, so why would anything else be any better? All right. So... Yeah, that's how you do it. So that's what it looks like all buttoned up and done. And like I said, make sure you got your arrow going out. Right. And, and everything works smoothly. Looks like you work the brake and it's all nice and smooth. Looks good. Nothing bottoms out. So next thing is to put on the uh, bike. Usually I do, I put on the wheel with the drum on it, put the axle through it, you know, the sleeve all that, put this, just mock it up on the bench and make sure it all seems to fit together first before it goes on the bike. Okay. Because it's easier to deal with it right then and then put on the bike and you check it again. So a lot of little stuff, but all that stuff you gotta check and that's what makes it work the first time you go down the street, not every five minutes you gotta take the damn bike and pull off the side of the road and fix it. Once it's fixed right the first time, it's fixed. So this is all done, so we'll move on to the next thing.